Alright, so what we got here today is a 2004 Chevy Tahoe. It's got a 5.3 liter V8 engine, 290 horsepower, all wheel drive. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so the last test drive we did was with the uh, Ford minivan. And uh, right off the bat, I can see some differences between that and the uh, Chevy Tahoe here. Uh, one of the first things I noticed is it's got more, more uh, leg room uh, for the passengers. Um, it still has seven seats, just like the last uh, minivan that we did. Um, so it can hold as many passengers. But what I'm liking right away is the spaciousness and the comfortable ride. Um, it's got a lot more leg room around the seats, uh, which makes it for a very comfortable ride for the passengers. Um, more, more luxurious that way. But one thing I notice also right off the bat is it has uh, less trunk space. Um, in the minivan, the uh, back bench uh, seats can fold right into the floor. Uh, with this Tahoe, uh, they can't. They can fold down right where they am or they are, but they don't go right down to the floor so if I was choosing as to which uh, if, if I was taking passengers I would take the Tahoe because it's got a comfortable seating arrangement but if I was choosing to carry uh, gear or supplies I would definitely choose the minivan over this because it has more uh, space in the back however this is a truck compared to a minivan so the uh, the engine size and the capabilities of uh, how powerful this thing is definitely uh, outweighs the minivan so let's take it through a couple tests all right so we are coming up on the hill climb and I have no doubt this will outperform the minivan by far the minivan had a smaller engine uh, and this one has definitely a bigger one by far and uh, we're just gonna see how easy it is to just crawl up this hill I bet it's just gonna be just like a tank it's just gonna get up to the top of this hill no problem so let's try this thing out here. Here we go. Listen to that roar. Oh, definitely. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Yeah, so with power, with force, with this just tank-like feel, I like this a lot better at the moment. Got up that hill no problem. Engine is not an issue in this. I see that the engine is very strong and uh, it's very solid. Let's go on to test number two. Okay, so just like in the last test drive video, we're going to do a curb test now. We just tested the engine on that hill back there. We're going to test the curb. Uh, test now here so this is testing this is testing the suspension now also this the Tahoe has got a lot better ride height the minivan was very low to the ground so I worried about scraping over the curb and then the pothole kind of jostled us around this has got truck suspension and it's a lot higher off the ground I'm guessing it's got a solid four inches higher up than the minivan did so the curb is just gonna be flawless is, is what I'm guessing so Let's test that theory right now. Here's the curb, and there's the pothole. Alright, coming up on the curb here. <laughs> Not an issue at all. Not one problem. Alright, here's the pothole. Right over it. That was it curb and pothole truck suspension I love it and uh, also like I said it's got a very big ride height so that was no problem did not have to worry about scraping at all let's look at those closer up
Right, so like I was saying, perfect suspension. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna drive across town here, move on to our next test. Okay, so we're here. This next test is the grass strip. And this is my favorite one, especially with this vehicle, because I know it will just succeed in every way possible. This is all wheel drive. It's very similar to four wheel drive. Uh, you put it, you can put it into four wheel drive and you, if you're wanting to get out of some sort of situation, stuck in the mud, stuck in the snow, off-roading, stuff like that. Um, all wheel drive always means that the wheels, all four of them, are always going. So uh, that means more power and more grip. So I'm gonna go over here on this grass strip over here. I'm just gonna do a couple laps and I know that it will have no traction problems at all. So let's kick it and let's go. Here we are now on the grass. And there is no traction control problems at all. I am just growling over this grass here. This is great. My gr on my uh, on the minivan it felt a lot more slick. I felt like I could skid if I wanted to if I just gave it too much gas. This not a chance. This thing is heavy. It's just got great tires. It's all wheel drive makes it a beast <laughs> and I would choose this over the minivan for off-roading any and every day just going around this grass little field thing here even with some speed this is no issue whatsoever I feel like I'm in total control connected to the ground. This is just awesome. Alright, so so far we've tested the engine and power going up on the hill climb. We've tested the suspension and the uh, ride height on the uh, curb and the pothole. We've also tested the uh, traction and the tires back there and the uh, all-wheel drive uh, capability there back there on the grass field now we're gonna go to this parking lot there's a bunch of uh, cement barriers coming up in the line we're gonna snake around them and test the uh, steering and handling next so almost at the parking lot all right so here's my opinion I think my minivan will do a better job at the steering and handling than this will. Now I know that may sound confusing because this is a truck and so far it's, it's beat my minivan through and through on every other one. I just think that here in this parking lot, I think that this will not do as good. My minivan, the steering, the one I just did last week, it was, it was tight, which was good. I had full control of the wheel and every movement I did was it just it just felt tight and it, and, it, and it did everything that I wanted it to the steering on this is just a tad bit loose I, I turned the wheel and I don't know how to describe it the ratio is off just a little bit so I think it's gonna be a lot more turning and just maybe a tad bit more scary going around these so we're gonna try it out here we're here give her a go here we're gonna snake our way around these Yeah, it's loose. I can kind of feel that. However, it's doing a good job. Yeah. It's very heavy too, so you gotta you gotta break around every every pylon here. Well there we go. I'd say that that a pretty fantastic job there so yeah nothing much else to say about the Chevy Tahoe it uh, 
extremely outperform the minivan. I would say I like the steering better on the minivan. However, every other obstacle we've thrown at it today, it just chewed it up and spit it out. So I think the Tahoe, exceptional beast.